Hey guys, welcome back to episode 22 this week. We are live here at the beautiful Colorado Ranch with myself and Falcon Actual. Falcon Actual. Gotta do my Batman voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's really sunny outside. So. Guys and gals, yes it is. Even though it's like 20 degrees. <laughs> it's cloud, no clouds, but 20 degrees, very cold. Um, thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to share the video. Everyone that shares gets a chance to win our weekly giveaway. And last week, we gave away a pair of our new thermal, thermal tangos. tangos. See that? Look at that. Thermal lenses. Thermal lenses. Ah, oh, yeah. Comes with three different lenses. Three yellow, thermal lenses. Thermal lenses. Yellow, clear, smoke. Comes with prescription inserts. Dust cover, little bag, brand placement like the Vanna white hands, <laughs> you know. And our winner from last week is Brad Bulow. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Brad, congratulations. You shared the video and you're our lucky winner. And we got up to 40 or 44, 44 Almost. viewers, 44 viewers. Yeah. So this week, just like all, we get it up to 50 viewers. You got to share. Mash the share button. Okay, you got to mash it. Like if you run multiple accounts, go, in, go on your store account, your business account, share it, you know, pump it up. Pete from Platoon Store, I'm talking to you, man. I know you got all those accounts out there. So. Yeah, I mean, it can be your troll accounts too. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so this week we are giving away the Falcon Tactical ATS stock by Marins. So. This thing is awesome. Comes in black or tan. And, and whoa. <laughs> Fits a ton of batteries. You can fit like three four. batteries, three or four. Four, four that's right. Yeah. Three sticks all at and once. Brick or four sticks, you know. So if uh, you guys, we get up to 50 viewers, we're going to give away both of them. Color your choice. Give away two, two of them. So moving on to. Which has become a staple of the show, our events. Events. Our events. Um, because we know all you guys are from everywhere across the US, Canada, and internationally. You want to know, hey, what's going on in my area so I can go so I can go play. Um, so first up, events this weekend. Yes. So this weekend, we're in on January 13th in our Midwest region, is Cobra Airsoft Legion's Op Snow Leopard 2 at Blast Camp in Hobart, Indiana. Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard. <laughs> Is that because, like, you know, like the snow gets so dirty and it looks like a muddled leopard? I don't know. It's, it's just a white leopard. Wow. Yeah. White leopards have dark spots. In the yes. Place. And Cobra Airsoft Legion, they're putting on a lot of events supporting uh, Virgil out at Blast Camp. Uh, Blast Camp, they're, support, they're celebrating 30 years this year. That's a long because time. missile base, missile base. That's right. Future events coming up January nineteenth in the Midwest region. Fourteenth LID official and Xfog are hosting Op Red Eye, Red Eye in Kalamazoo Airsoft in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Ooh. We know somebody in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We know we do. It's we do. He, that's that's where the Watchtower is. The Watchtower. Everybody. He's watching right now. He said hashtag Free Josh. Again? He did. I know, Memphis. right? <sighs> <sighs> but, you know, Aquaman holds down the base while Superman and Batman are out saving the day. Um, <laughs> uh, January 20th in the Midwest at Indy Paintball Battlegrounds. They are hosting an open play airsoft day in Greenwood, Indiana. Woo That's what's awesome, too. It's, you don't have to have just events. Just get out and play. Support local. It's always awesome. And the following week, January 23rd through the 26th in the Pacific region, it is SHOT SHOW! Right. It's wrong. I'm going to get the wrong order. SHOT SHOW! SHOT SHOW! Oh, shot show. We will be there with hand sanitizer, patches, hats, and uh, of course the, um, what's that stuff called? Emergency. I will be pounding that emergency. None of that SHOT SHOW gunk for me. I know. Yeah. Lots of shaking hands, kissing babies, <clears throat> kissing gun bunnies. Oh, you get, we get in trouble for that. What stays in Vegas? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Not for media personalities. They watch oh, everything. Oh, that's right. Yes. Everything. So we have a very intense media schedule for y'all that week. B 
be tuned in, set up your notifications. You're going to see a lot of stuff. We're going to be out and about, and it's, we're going to have a good time. Really good time. There, we're going to be running two live shows um, yes. because we will be joined by our entire media team. So we'll be broadcasting the Valken Core show. So we will be on that with A Train. We're going to crash it. So we're going to crash that party. And then we have a special um, shot show edition of the uh, Valken Debrief. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be that's going to be really cool. We have many, many guests. Yeah. Many special many, guests. Many, many, many. All right, now, uh, on January 27th, in our South region, 878 Airsoft is hosting Op Warlords in Waxahachie, Texas. It also happens to be their two-year anniversary. Woohoo! Go 878. That's what I'm talking about. And February 3rd through the 4th, in the South region, uh, we got two events going on that weekend in the South region. I'm going to talk about the first one. Third Coast Airsoft is hosting Op Bone Strike in Vicksburg, Mississippi, one of our historical Civil War towns. Ooh. And on February uh, 3rd and 4th, in Wa also in Waxahachie, Texas, is Overwatch Tax Tactics is hosting Conquest of Avalon. So that's supposed to be at a um, Renaissance Festival town. So if you have like one of those Renaissance festivals that has all the buildings and stuff, you actually get to play in uh, the structures. On oh, Soto. yes. What up, Soto? Uh, all right. February 9th through the 11th in the Pacific region. Lion Claws Military Simulation Series. Good old John Lou is hosting Op Devil Dog. Briefing, 15 minutes. <laughs> what? <I'm sorry. laughs> we love you, John. We do. We do. We, we do. do. Op Devil Dog. Winter effect. <laughs> Winter offensive at Camp Pendleton, California. So, great stuff. If you haven't gotten your names in, haven't bought your tickets yet, security clearance got to be cleared. You got to do that. Do it ASAP. Yeah. There's no last minute walk-ons for that. They will arrest you at the gate. You bring guns to the gate, you get arrested. Okay. And uh, on February 17th in the Midwest, Hole in the Wall Paintball is hosting Op Turquoise Ridge in Bangor, Michigan. Michigan. I know you want to say Bangor, Maine, don't you? I know, I do. I, I know, really do. it's like you want to say Bangor, Maine, but it's no, it's yeah. Bangor, Michigan. Bangor, Michigan. Yep. And February 18th, also in the Midwest region, coming back, Cobra Airsoft Legion is hosting their next one, Op Rhine River at Blast Camp in Hobart, Indiana, which is a World War Rio, World War, Rio, World War, Rio, World War, Rio, World War II, World War II reenact. reenactment airsoft event. I don't know. I think that... What is up with... We just, is our Brine River. Frozen? Yeah, Brine River would have been a pretty good one, too. That would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, like that salty river. What up, Will Kennedy? Thanks for joining. And Richard, yo, from Airsoft C2's <gasps> in the house. Where's Ryan? Rich Hurry. Yeah, where is Ryan? Mr. Hurry. Wilson. Hurry. You keep saying hurry. Hurry. I want to say hurry. I'm, just, I'm changing your name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing it. And you're going to be Bob Menor. Monroe. 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 I'm Monroe. Papa Rich. There we go. <laughs> All right. So February 23rd through the 25th in the South, Centurion Milsim is hosting Charlie Mike in Blakely, Georgia. And if you don't know Centurion Milsim, Bubba you don't, Moore. Then you, you don't know Bubba I Moore. I love watching his live shows. Oh, my gosh. Like his live broadcast. He, he's really progressed. You know, he's got, he's got the, the setup. The he's got studio. his backdrop going. Got, you know, the professional sound. He's got it going. Dude. He's a one-man army. Dude, he is. He's, mm -hmm. he's very professional. And last but not least, February 24th in the South region, Extreme Airsoft and Ironsight Airsoft are partnering up to host Frosty vs. Silva in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So Fro that's Frosty and Bo Silva from American Milson. Those two are going head to head. I don't know. Do you think, do you think Bo get his feelings hurt if... Frosty rolls them. I don't know. I, I don't know. Those, they always go. At we're it. still out. They if, always if, butt heads. If They're Frost best friends, but when you put them on opposite sides of the team, you know, it can it can get dirty. I mean, we'll see if if you know Frosty's been out there again or uh, Silva because remember he he blew his knee a couple years ago oh, yeah. and he had to take that break. But mm -hmm. he's 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 back one hundred percent. So it's, you know, 
I'm thinking. I think if Silva's the underdog, he might take it, man. I think so. Don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> so, guys and gals, thank you for joining us. Episode 22 of the Balkan Debrief here in beautiful Colorado with myself, the Kaiju, and Valken Actual. And we have a very special guest for you guys today. But please, don't forget to share the video and comment for your chance to win. We're about up to 30 viewers right now. So, if we can get up to 50, we're going to give away two of these Valken ATS stocks by Marins. But... First, we're going to have a word from one of our sponsors, Marin Sports. I'm Mason with Falcon Tactical, and this is the ATS Advanced Tactical Stock by Marins. The ATS is constructed of a durable HDP high density polymer and is available in tan and black. The ATS has aggressive lines and stylized battery ventilation cutouts. Three full-size 11.1 batteries can be stored in the stock simultaneously. Removing the back of the ATS reveals a standard nunchuck storage configuration as well as a compartment in the back for holding a PEQ style battery. The ATS also features a patent pending S-Lock system which allows you to rapidly install and remove the stock with just one hand. The ATS fits mil-spec buffer tubes and looks right at home on almost any rifle, especially when paired with the V-Flash mag, also by Marins. To order the Advanced Tactical Stock and the V-Flash magazine, as well as other Airsoft Essentials, just visit Falcon.com. And welcome back. Episode 22, doing it live. Please share, smash that button. Share, 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 share. Share, likes, laughs. Yes, share. share it. So, today we have a very special guest in beautiful, sunny Southern California. We've got Angel AJ Muro from Airsoft Megastore. Welcome, AJ. That's me. <laughs> I you know, I always gotta throw my airborne wherever I go. Yes, <laughs> we do notice. need we do need a soundboard. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Last time I think when you were here, I was using my phone app as my soundboard. Oh bad. yes. Oh yeah, you can't do that, can't you? Yes. Remember that. Yeah, that was pretty cool though. What's up guys? How's everybody doing today? Oh, it's going awesome, man. Great. How, how's the weather out there in California for you? Um, well it was raining for the past two days, but it's about like sixty five, seventy degrees outside today. And you Funny, know no clouds in the sky, you know. No flooding? No, because I mean, you guys never get rain. No, well, no fires, right? No, um, not that I'm aware of, but we never know. Never know. There might be something going out, I don't know. <laughs> and Let's hope the rain took care of it. And thank you, you know, for those of you that aren't paying attention and that can actually see, today was backwards hat day. Myself and AJ got backward hats. And you know what it is? Falcon no. Actual is just pretending at the moment, but, you know. You gotta flex your forehead today, guys. Gotta yes. be like a rock star. Heck yeah. Hey, if y'all have any questions for AJ as we're going through, hey, please post them up in the chat down below. And we'll be sure to ask AJ. And uh, the funnier or more embarrassing, the better. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we promise we're limits. gonna do our best that we're not gonna have another accident this week with the live feed. Yes. Unfortunately. Fortunately, yeah, Mike had to take the walk of shame. He did. Yeah, he just didn't even show up. He was so embarrassed. He just left, didn't show up. No notice, nothing. So we have Jesus. Randy. We have Randy in the uh, as our intern this week. So let's Randy the intern. He, uh, have high hopes for you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> we do. As, as he holds up his beer, but <laughs> no, it's, it's a Coke bottle. Uh huh. Sure. Both hands on the on the on the board, Randy. Both hands on the board. <laughs> hey, Jake Good Kronos evening, Randy. in the house. Thanks for joining, Jay. So, let's kick it all off. AJ, tell us you about your first airsoft experience. My first airsoft experience. Okay, so, not the normal first airsoft experience. Most normal first airsoft experiences are taking place at a local field or indoor, whether that be, you know, something local or, you know, a couple, a couple of hours out. But my first airsoft experience was an op lion claws event. Mm. Um, I'm my, talking about. Same. My first airsoft experience was a Milsom event. Crazy, I know. But, Dude, um, you, just, you just went, like, forget all the locals. Just go straight to the top. <laughs> I, went straight in, I went straight into it, man. 
I went straight into it. I was um, um, being, because I was working for Airsoft Megastore already at the time. And I didn't, I didn't have to get any of my equipment ready. People already got everything ready. So when I was there, I was learning. I was like, okay, this goes So you were spoiled, like straight <laughs> up. Like. Yeah, I was, I was thrown into it. Oh. I was really thrown into it. But it was really cool, you know, because like, um, I didn't know what to expect necessarily. So getting out there, um, it's funny because I actually drove our van and I got, we got stuck in mud because of me. So yeah, that was, there was that. And then um, I, I got dressed, everything ready to go. And I'm like, okay, what the hell do I do now? What do I do now? But um, it was really cool. My first event being a, a Milsom event, just like like a Lion Claws. It was actually at the Santa Movie Ranch, one of my favorite locations. Oh, Since the Santa then, Movie I, Ranch. Yeah, really awesome, sweet location. I got down and dirty, adrenaline was pumping. I was getting into, ah, I felt like um, Rambo, you know, I was, ah, you know, it was really awesome. Was Tactical thumbs up. <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Rambo, uh, Iron Man, Ian, he, he actually, he's asking, what's your worst airsoft injury? Oh man. Um, so I was actually at, um, it's funny, um, Lion Claws again, <laughs> Camp Pendleton. I was wearing some goggles from a company we shall not name, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I had to remove the strap on the back, so they were like just basically like full seal shooting glasses, but without the strap, you know, to secure them in place. And I removed that, and I was shooting out of this little tiny hole. I was in a firefight with someone across, in a building across, and I poke out a little bit. BB comes, gets gets in there, and I say, get in there, gets in there. Does it hit my eye? Hits my eyelid. I was like, oh, oh man, it was crazy. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my! I, I couldn't open it. I was freaking out, and um, I still played that day. I still played. I, I I fought it out. Did my thing with my bloody eye. It was cool, but that was probably the worst. That's what I'm talking about. Toughed it out. You're Are you sure you weren't looking through the like this? You're like looking through that hole. You know, nothing fell off. You just weren't thinking. No, I think no. maybe the black. Cause I was like, I was like, you know, I was like this peeking. Uh, it came like right here, like, and it, it's it right there in that the angle. top, ah. right there, and it like traveled right here, and then it, oh man, it hurt so bad. <laughs> oh, awesome. I I've done that. Mine was actually I was I was teching, and I was trouble troubleshooting the rifle, and I huh? flipped it over to look to see if the nozzle was moving, and so there there was a jam in the barrel, and there was still mm -hmm. a BB in the hop up, so it was just right there, that halfway point before the nozzle. So when yeah. I shot it, it came out of the hop-up unit, like straight up and hit me on like my lower eye. Oh. Yeah, that was like that. I fall off my desk and I'm like, ah, the blind, ah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. No, yeah. I've, I've had that too. I was at American Milson mm -hmm. uh, ESR in Roosevelt, Oklahoma. And me and Woody, every, every story has to include Woody. Yeah, yeah. We're checking out of our hotel and the hotel had these uh, back patios, right? And so I'm pushing a little luggage cart to the outside. He comes popping up like a ninja out that back little patio, goes to shoot me with his pistol. I'm like, I'm an admin. I have no, I have no eye pro on, no nothing, because we're pat <laughs> And he nails me, same spot, right under, right under here. And I was like, what the? Oh, it was, it was his CO2 hashtag, there's no such thing as an airsoft Glock pistol. And uh, I was like, I think everybody, I think you make a good point, AJ. Everybody has a close encounter with their, with their eyes. I mean, yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, real quick. Hey, David Lee. David asks, what's the best airsoft event you've ever attended? Best uh, airsoft event I've ever attended? Are you going to say line Claws? Probably. <laughs> actually, actually, three for three, honestly, ladies best, and gentlemen. Honestly, three I'm, for I'm three. Gonna, I'm going to go a little cliche here, but my first airsoft moment was probably my best airsoft, my most favorite airsoft moment. My most memorable, to say that, at least, because um, I had no little to no experience. I I just knew how to sh I just knew how to shoot my EG, um, but I got out there, um, blood pumping. I was pumped. I'm like, after I got my first kill, I was like, you know, I was pumped. I felt like I was just, I was a stud all of a sudden. You know, I knew what I was doing. I felt like I was special ops, you know, all up in the, all up in the jungle of Santa Ranch. And um, it was an amazing experience, you know. 
Um, when they called out for lunch, I was drenched from the creek, from just getting down, laying prone, doing my thing. Um, I had actually found a really cool spot where I took out, like, I went on, like, a five-guy kill streak real quick, and um, one of my, Jake from the, Jake, one of my uh, associates here, joins me on the live show all the time. Shout out to Jake. Um, he was with what me. Up, Jake? Was, what was that? No, I just said, what's up, Jake? Oh, yeah, what's up, Jake? Wherever Jake you State are, Farm. in this warehouse, in the building right now. But yeah, me and him were, um, we teamed up. He was my little buddy that day. And we took out a couple of guys, and then he was being all loud. He did his, whoo! And then we had to book it out of there because they caught on to us. And yeah, but it was an amazing day. Um, I've had a lot of great airsoft experiences, whether that being at a Muslim event or just, you know, playing local games. But my first experience was definitely my most memorable up to this point. It was awesome. Did my thing, got all pumped, I was all dirty, <laughs> felt like a wild boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. It was That's awesome. That's what it's all about. You're not, you're not, you're not afraid to get those cries dirty. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. Um, That's what they're for. That's why they invented a goddamn washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, shout, out, shout out to Ty, shout out to Tide Pods. Got to keep the undies fresh and the BDUs fresh. <laughs> So, so what is it? What is your favorite style of airsoft play? So, what's your favorite style of play? Style of play meaning like um, what role like I in the, I guess it could be yeah, role like. Are you um, like the well, indoor I'm kind not, of guy? I'm not got so the qualified gun? like Kaiju, where I'm going to be a uh, the, the commander of the forces. I'm not. I'm nowhere near the god of the god of uh, Valken over there, but um. I I I must I'm I, I follow I follow orders I take I do what I can. Um, sometimes I like going rogue, but I know that's not the best thing when there's objectives. But definitely more like uh, a rifleman taking on that role of helping a team and taking care of some objectives. So you you could you like the the rifleman style. Just definitely, like, yeah. yeah. So you're not a heavy gunner, not you know. No, no. I mean, I would weapons. definitely. I've experimented a little bit, but I think rifleman style is for me. Now, I don't mind feeling, let's say, a heavy gunner. I don't mind being like a, a savage with my man 249, you know. I don't mind doing that at all. But for me, personally, I'm, I'm rolling with that uh, riflesman any day. Oh, that's awesome. And if you're joining us just now, we've got a bunch of people that just joined us. Uh, John Burdett from Sogo Airsoft. Thanks for joining. Oh, Fraught Airsoft liked our video thank you so much guys please hit that share button we got up to about 40 viewers we got to get up to that 50 and we'll give away two of these bad boys so color color of your choice color of your choice black or tan your choice of color black or tan oh i'm sorry faded darker flat darker come on guys flat, get, get, that, flat get, darker. get those 50 viewers i know 50, 50 viewers. viewers get up there it ain't that the serious, guys come on you can do it no. <laughs> i'm taking ourselves that seriously come on heck yeah and if you got a question for aj um Feel free to put them down in the comments below. Uh, extra points for embarrassing questions. Always good. Always good. Um, I like embarrassing questions. It's always a good story behind an embarrassing question. Exactly. Okay. When you when when you ask AJ a question, and there's that long pause, <laughs> and you're like, oh, you don't want you don't want to talk about this one. <laughs> when I look off camera, I'm like, oh god, no, <laughs> no. Um, so. Your favorite style is, you know, being a grunt, being a rifleman. Yeah. Um, but what kind of events do you like to participate in? Like skirmishes, um, mill sim, outdoor, mill speed, speed mount. soft. Oh, op four. That's a good one. Op four. Um, oh, mount. Definitely mount. mill sim style events. Mill sim? Okay. Yeah. Um, but I like, like mill sim like, with like a large AO or do you like like the mill? I, 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 love an, I love a large AO. I love when, a, especially if there's large numbers, I hate when the AO doesn't necessarily fit the number of people they are. Like, if I'm playing at a humongous location and there's only like a hundred people, that's like a real turnoff. You know, it's like, I want to, I want to be constant. I want there to be the right amount of people for the right location, you know? Now, um, having said that, I love, I love huge AO. I love being able to transition from, I like, I like AOs that have, that are more than just one type of terrain. Or one type of landscape, you know. Oh, um, what's what? So what's the what's like the largest AO you've ever played on? Man, I don't I don't know the exact disc sizes and stuff, but um, the largest. 
<laughs> this is going to sound funny, but another Lion Claws event. <laughs> <laughs> it was a test stop. It was actually a test stop they had at the Kornberg um, Renaissance Fair, humongous, um, in Corona, California. Um, for they, were, they invited a couple of us sponsors out and some of our um, sponsor players to test out the location and see if it would work for other Milsom, uh, for Milsom events going forward. And it was huge. Like They had the town, obviously, in the middle, but to the to the south of it and to the north there was um like a woodland terrain there was like a creek on the outskirts of it there was like um like an arid tech desert terrain in the backside it was awesome they had like urban obviously and then there was the the nature nature style and it was just crazy to be out there because i played the first half and a lot of the engagement i had was outside of the town but when i got inside the town it's, it, you just switch your style of play from terrain to terrain, <laughs> yeah. which I really liked. And then it was cool because the second half of the game, I actually went out and uh, I took some pictures. Um, I do a little photography here for Megastar. And, um, just a little bit. Just a little bit of photography, right? Just a little Yeah, no, nothing crazy. Just um, <laughs> uh, event shots. You know, any event shots you see on our page that aren't reposted or have our logo will be from someone else. But if they are... Our original shot if they are a shot that doesn't give any credit to anybody else it's from me um but yeah like i got out there and it was cool seeing the different play styles because you experience it obviously but then when you're observing other people and their motions and what they're doing and how they're moving it's it's a thing of beauty especially when they're moving from building to building and then moving from cover to cover in in a woodland area or getting out into an open field and working around different things, you know, it's it's a really beautiful thing to see. I think that kind of gets lost when you're actually playing. Because when you're playing, in my personal opinion, I'm like, oh crap, okay, what the what the hell do I do now? All right, come on, let's do this. Go, go, go. You know, I think your 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 brain's going a million miles a minute, but when you're when you're out there observing and seeing what everybody else is doing, you're not you don't have that mentality. You're just like, okay, this looks really cool. Oh man, you could really appreciate how a team is moving and how they're communicating, and it's a thing of beauty. It's really awesome. Being part of a team, that's that's one thing I miss most is like being part of a, uh, a large team, you know, at least two fire teams or a squad size element. You know, yeah. The radio and hand signals and just being like a tight-knit group, I miss that a lot. Um, hey, intern Randy's doing his job. He's he's telling you to speak up. No, he's telling me to what? Ah, <laughs> good job, Randy. So, um, when and where did you first start working in the airsoft industry? Oh man, this is going to be a crazy story that not a lot of people are going to believe. <laughs> Does it start with Lion Claws? <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, Lion Claws was my first event. That, that my Lion Claws, that Lion Claws event, that first event was the event that got me into marketing. Oh. Yeah. So. Um, I've been with the company for a while now, and I originally got hired in the warehouse. Um, I was packing orders, doing everything. Um, I was doing grunt work, um, essentially. And um, like, I'm I'm fairly young. If not not a lot, if you guys don't know who I, um, my age or anything, um, I'm 22 years old, and I currently uh, I'm currently a college student at Cal State LA. Um, I'm a young guy, young gun in the game, and I was originally given an opportunity by. Vince, um, my former marketing director, you, yeah, you've I met him before, Bob. Uh, great guy. He's currently at KWA. Awesome dude. Um, great mentor. And he, 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 I interviewed for the position and I got promoted to um, being a marketing assistant for an airsoft. And that was my gateway into airsoft megastore. And then from there, I started learning some more. I learned from a great group of people. Um, I learned from uh, David Mule. Mule, as you guys know, from Megastore, oh, yeah. great guy as well. He's out doing uh, Mule Customs. Make sure to give him a follow on uh, Instagram, guys. He does some really good stuff. Mule. And also Vince, they um, they taught me the ins and outs, and um, I was really happy. I'm really happy to say that I was surrounded by a veteran group of guys that that knew what the community was about, and they didn't dilute anything. They didn't try telling me it's all about profits, it's all about this, it's all about that. Now it's like you know what, it's it's about this. You know, don't. Airsoft is a community, and you don't want to. I, I I don't want to touch. I don't want to. I want to do my best to help the community, you know. And that's that's essentially how I got into airsoft. And then from there, more opportunities came. I was learning more. Um, I was learning basically everything there is to to know on the back end of airsoft, while also learning 
about airsoft itself and getting out there and playing and making friends in airsoft, um, getting my own friends into airsoft and doing all that stuff. And that's essentially how I got into the community and playing airsoft. Really love it actually now. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So being in marketing for Airsoft Megasaur, tell us, tell, tell our viewers, like, what do you do? What's, what's a typical day for you? Oh man, my typical day is not typical at all. Um, <laughs> it, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I do a lot with Airsoft Megasaur. I try, um, I, I've learned a lot and I've tried doing the best that I can possibly do for the company and in turn for the consumer, the customers at our soft mega store and optimizing their experience. So I'll create our promotions. A lot of our sales will build um, our mystery boxes. If you guys haven't checked out our mystery boxes, I have a very um, hands-on part of that. Our graphic designing, um, our, all of our social media, I, I run and delegate all of the tasks on that. So if you guys follow us on Instagram, obviously, <laughs> You'll social see me a couple media, of times, you know. Yeah, social media never, never ends. ends. It's social 24/7. media is, <laughs> You could, you could. Social media in itself, obviously, is its own job. You know, um, running Instagram, Facebook, and all those things. YouTube, putting up content every single day and being creative while you're doing it is definitely a task. Um, a lot of people think it's easier said than done, but it's definitely something that requires time and energy, and not, and it's not just. All right, I'm gonna post this gun today. Ugh. Yeah, everybody thinks it's yeah. just like, oh, I'm just gonna take this picture and, and throw this up. It's like, no, you gotta place it, gotta make sure it's right, you gotta lighting, it's gotta be relevant. Get the right angle. You need a good description or something to follow it up with. And then Tag the right one people. tiny little thing is off. There's trolls that wanna pick it apart. It's like, oh, well, this fire selector's on fire, or oh, where's Where, the orange tip? Or where's wait, your iPhone? Is that a California compliant <laughs> rifle? Where's the orange tape? Oh my goodness, is that license? <laughs> oh, is it a version two? That's I mean, it's just that's the daily thing, and <laughs> don't you don't you love it, AJ? It's like you have posted a link, you've even said the price, you've said what plat like a, what platform it is, and they're like like all the answers, and they're asking questions to the answers in the description. And it's, it's like it's it's radically annoying, and when I say radically annoying, I definitely mean it. It's like, bro, just do what I'm watching out for you. This is why I put certain information on here. <laughs> look, look at the information, man. You're like sitting there behind your desk. You're like, Usa. <laughs> so, okay. I, I, I sometimes troll people. Um, I, I, I like trolling people sometimes. I know it's not necessarily like the best thing to do for as a business, but it's having fun. Unless, you're, social media. unless you're Wendy's. You know, like Wendy's is savage oh in their my campaign. God. <laughs> Wendy's is my favorite account to follow on Twitter. I know. It's golden. It's golden. so savage. It's, it's yeah. epic. Like they've got that nailed. They got it. Now, whoever is working for Wendy's right now needs to just hop on over there, stop making and show me what they're doing. <laughs> they, they got, they, they're, they're, they're amazing. I, I love the responses to any trolls out there. It's beautiful. Yes. So, um, what would you tell the everyday airsoft player, what it takes to work in the industry? Hard work. Um, being in airsoft, um, you're going to being in the airsoft industry, especially, you're going to need to wear a lot of hats. You're going to need to learn a lot of things, and you're going to need to learn a lot of things fast, unless you're a veteran of the sport. But if you're someone like myself, or even just someone beginning in airsoft, or just someone with intermediate knowledge, um, there's more to it than just playing airsoft. And, and you have I know to that sounds weird to say, because it's airsoft, but there's way more to it than just playing airsoft. Um, you've got to learn the trends, what's going on, and what's, what's popular in airsoft. Um, the correct terminology to use. You gotta, you gotta use. There's so many different things, and there's an endless amount of of information you t you need to learn, and you just gotta learn it as fast as it comes, and just take it as it comes. And but it, it's gonna require a lot of hard work. I get a lot of people asking, "Oh man, how did you how did you get working for Airsoft Megastar? How did you do it? How did you do this?" Well, hard work, man. Like as I just said, I was literally working in the warehouse, unloading trailers. You know of um, restocking Falcon products, you know, I was doing that stuff and yeah. I got, I got gifted an opportunity and, um, I busted my butt, um, learned a lot of things. I got out there and played, I got there out there and talked to people. A lot of airsoft is networking as well. Yes. Networking yes. Def definitely. Um, whether it's talking to just, um, 
as we're talking right now, me and Bob, and you know, we're, as we're talking, and the, the Balkan Airsoft team, um, talking to people over at um, other brands like G&G and Lancer, well, we're not going to talk about those guys today because the Falcon show, baby. Falcon, that's right. Falcon that's right. Alliance. Peace up. Peace up. But like, uh, yeah, throw the peace up. Shout out to the Falcon Alliance, number one. Shout out. Download the app, guys. But um, yeah, it takes a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of work. Don't be afraid of working, though. You miss 100%. Of, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. If you guys watch The Office, you'll understand that reference. I yeah. doubt you will, though. No, I mean, you, you hit, the, hit all the high points. I mean, it is, it's a, a lot of people don't realize <clears throat> how difficult it is. I mean, it's great that we can work in our hobby, but it's, it's, it's a lot of work staying up to date on, on industry trends, um, trying to, you know, weed through uh, uh, the drama, you know, because there's, it wouldn't be airsoft without drama. Oh, definitely. You know, definitely. Um, we're all a bunch of high school cheerleading teams that they just want to bring it on. I mean, <laughs> and I bet, we got one, you know, been out of shape cheerleading captain going after the other one. You're, you're this girl. Ah, oh, we're so bad. We're so bad. <laughs> I know. I know. And you know, and probably when you first started, it was like you feel like Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz and the curtain's been opened. And, <laughs> well, no, like you're saying, like the industry context, you know, so-and-so knows so-and-so, and you're like, whoa, I would never, I would never thought of that. Yeah, there's definitely a yeah. veil there that's like, that's just ripped away when you cross over. Because like, I had like a slow transition from player, you know, player to tech to store manager and, you know, here at Valken. So it was, I kind of like, you know, just kind of transition. It was, it was an evolution as I eased into it. It wasn't just like, you know, here you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like one day I was chilling in the warehouse. The next day I'm working at a desk, um, looking up literally everything in airsoft and just, whoa, just, I felt like I was in minority report. Just <laughs> back and tangled, goggles, uh, back and machine, uh, so yes, stuff. Uh, I know, uh, right? Well, it's crazy. Um, Thank you so very much, AJ. Thank you for everyone that, that joined the show today with the comments and the shares. We greatly appreciate it, AJ. I know you're busy. It's, you know, your Pacific time, a little bit hour, one hour less than us. But I will, I will see you very, very soon. Um, I will see your SHOT Show, but I will. you and I are going to pew-pew very soon together. Oh, I would, love, I would love that opportunity to shoot you in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got plenty of target. Plenty of target. I got new patches coming. You shoot me, you get a patch. Oh, dang. All right, I'll take you up on that. It's a kaiju uh, stamp. Yeah. Friendly fire counts, too. Do I get a, do I get a patch for each BB I hit you with? I think I'm going to have to clean you out. Team killing. It's a team, thing. I know. Team it's kill a real thing. Hashtag team killing. It hurts. Hashtag team killing. It, it does. It hurts. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us on Valken Debrief episode number 22. Be sure to join us next week. Uh, this will be that'll be the last show before shot show before yeah. shot show shot show um, shot show. show so thank you very Taking much. Taking a show on the road. Yes, <laughs> have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us. Thank you again, AJ, and we will see you all soon. Take care. Later, guys.